Hi there! If you don't like the built-in YouTube transcription or YouTube translation option, you should consider a third party. But not all transcription or translation services or apps are good. And that's why I provided this video for you to check out Happy Scribe. This video is not sponsored. I've been using Happy Scribe for years now for my podcasts and also for my YouTube videos. It has good experience, really good pricing, highly accurate transcription and translation. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to go about getting your YouTube videos translated into a language you desire. It also solves another problem. When I was playing with my live stream on YouTube and trying to get it translated into Mandarin Chinese in this case, YouTube automatic translation only completed the first 15 to 20 minutes of the video for whatever reason. Now the live stream itself was 45 minutes to an hour, so I needed a third party to help me solve for that issue. Happy Scribe offers both machine translation, transcriptions, and human verified. Now, if you're working on a really big project like medical or political, you want the transcription and translation to be as accurate as possible. In those cases, I absolutely recommend the human verified services. For my needs, mostly on creative interviews, I find machine transcriptions and translations to be sufficient for the most part. Because Happy Scribe has a really easy to use user interface, I actually go in there and apply edits as needed, especially to proper nouns. So as part of this video, not only I'm going to show you how to use Happy Scribe, but I'll show you step by step how to get my English transcription and then how to translate it into Mandarin Chinese and upload it to YouTube. Before we get started, I forgot to mention the pricing information and Happy Scribe, as you can see, has several available options and the automatic transcription and translations also come with a free trial. Beyond that, it's only 20 cents a minute. So with that said, let me take a look through what it looks like inside. Let's go ahead and, and do that. So I'm going to log into my account. Let me go ahead and simply upload a file. So you can also organize it here. So I'm, I actually have a folder called uh, Face World Livestream. So I'm going to click on Upload a New File. And here I want to use, oh yeah, you can have subtitles. So again, transcriptions with subtitles. Look to the left here, my YouTube channel. And I can create a link to YouTube, second link right here. Let me uh, take care of this right now. Again, this was a live stream I just did. So I'm going to come back once this is loaded and ready to go. So hopefully this is worth the wait. It took about, I would say, like a good 15, 20 minutes. It's one hour. Not only think about it, it has to upload from YouTube. It also has to actually transcribe it. So there we go. And uh, what I'm testing out, number one, what I always do is make sure that the English part is good. So I don't really mind. You can make, you know, this is Faye from Face World Media. I don't really care. They always get this part wrong. Uh, but as part of um, uh, Happy Scribe, I want to show you that you can add things to vocabulary. So let's have a listen. Dear Ben Smith, and before we, in case you don't know who he is, but most likely you have. It's seen pretty Ernest good, I would say, right? Ben, you are so humble all the time. So, so what's really incredible about this tool is not only you see uh, the video itself, the player button, you can speed it up, but you also have different clips uh, down here that you can see the WAV file and all that. Now. The magic happens when we have this button right here. You can have machine generated translations or you can use human made. And instead here, I'm going to do simplified Chinese. Now, usually from my experience, the, the Asian language uh, translations are often worse than, you know, of, of Latin languages like, you know, French and Spanish and all that. So let's click on translate and see what happens. So, wow. First of all, it was like super fast. I think the reason is because it's transcription and it's already previously processed. So let me have a listen. Uh, this is Faye from Face World Media. I am so excited to be wow. reunited with my friend here, Ben Smith. This is incredible. I'm I'm kind of a little shocked. Like the importance of everybody along the way, from the lighting of the show to the decoration of the sets. That oh my goodness! And watch them and be like. Oh, I don't even have to look here. It's already embedded here. So now what you can do is, wow. I mean, first of all, you can correct anything that, that seems out of place. For instance, like at the beginning, it didn't know how to translate like phase world. I can just simply do that. From phase world media. So I... for instance, I can just type it in. 
media. Now I'm going to click on download. I can do subtitles only, or you can burn your subtitles into the video file. So I, I really want to see how long it takes, what it looks like. So that's definitely worth doing. Now you can imagine doing this and just upload this video as its own video back to YouTube or Vimeo, wherever you have it. Um, but in addition, coming back to this file, I also want to just download uh, the SRTs alone. So from here, let me go ahead and just download the subtitles. Now, what's so good about these SRT files? You have different options, but SRT is pretty standard. Look, they also have Facebook, Final Cut Pro. I just need the standard SRT so that I can upload that back to YouTube. All that timestamp will be matched back to the original video. And let's see how that looks. I'm so excited. So coming back to YouTube, let me find my video. So for my live stream, I need to go back to my studio setting. Just so you know, you guys, if you're new to a uh, live stream, what you need to do is click on this live button here. And let's click into this episode I want to make changes in. And down here, you see subtitles on the left hand side. And now I can do add a language. And here I have to choose Chinese and I'm going to do simplified, which is what I did. And here we can update subtitle. Simple enough. Click on this button and it should allow you to upload a file right here. So let me grab that file with timing. So click on continue. Go back to my download right here. You know, we didn't do anything, didn't edit the video in any way. Again, it should really match right back to uh, the original segment. While it's playing, it's generating here. You know, what really worried me that the translation wouldn't be good is because as you know, with machine transcription of the English language of whatever it's native to the video, if there are any mistakes there, it's going to make the translation much worse, right? So obviously it's not the translation's fault. Usually what I do, what I recommend people to consider, even if you don't have a huge budget for foreign translations, what you can consider is getting human verifications on your English transcriptions. That's usually about a dollar a minute. Sometimes you may get a little cheaper, like 50 cents to 75 cents, but it's not free. You know what, instead of waiting, I'm just gonna click publish here and let's test it out. So it says Chinese Simplified is published and oh, this is the moment of truth. So what I need to do now is be able to play the video. So let's go ahead and go back to the YouTube channel. Uh, you need to be able to find where the transcription is, number one. Uh, one thing I want to clarify, guys, is that you have to click on the CC closed captions button first, then click on the gear button to make sure the Chinese simplified where the foreign language that you have is selected. Hope you find this video helpful. I hope it just encourages you to consider translations more easily. I highly recommend Happy Scribe. This is not a sponsored video. I just want to show creators how to get to uh, you know, create different variations, versions of their content, eventually trying to expose more people to it and really learn something new along the way. This is Faye from Face World. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. We are going to relaunch faceworld.com, our main website in the next month or so. There's a lot of optimization, a lot of learning as we're transitioning from Squarespace to WordPress. So I really want to just document that process. I know so many of you are in the same shoes as I am and going through the same struggles so we can hear, learn and grow together. See you next time. Bye.